The idea for the Yui label came about five years ago when I was making lunch for my son and I took a jar of mayonnaise out of the fridge, not sure when it was first opened. The Yui label is a simple device. When you open the jar for the first time, it activates a timing device and shows you how long it's been open for. Once it's reached its used within period, it turns from green to red, warning you it's no longer safe to use and it's time to throw out. It wasn't until March last year when we made it to the final John Nogue Baird Awards for innovation that the public got to know about the UA label. Up to that point we were contacting companies on a one-to-one -one basis, deliberately staying under the radar until we developed the UA label to what it is today. So why the original idea for the UA label came about in food, we soon realised that there were other sectors that could benefit from the UA label. In particular there was pharmaceuticals and life sciences and in the aviation industry for glues and industrial glues and sealants. After the John Logie Baird Awards we won the Barclays Take One Small Step Award. Not only did that give us nationwide recognition, but it brought a prize fund of £50,000, which was a tremendous boost to help us develop and accelerate the development of the UA label. As mentioned earlier, we identified industrial glues and sealants in the aviation sector as a key target market for the UA label. We were introduced to the Global Scott Network through Scottish Enterprise, and we discovered a key member that we'd like to target uh, and introduced to a chap called Douglas Cribbis. Douglas is the president of a joint venture company between Rolls-Royce and American Airlines and based in Dallas, Texas. He's got over 35 years experience in the aviation industry and saw the immediate impact that UA Label would have on his industry. We're nearing the end of our development and we'll have samples ready for potential customers who we will have lined up by the end of March, beginning of April this year. With this being the case, we hope to have our labels on products by the end of 2012.